What's been on team? It's Ricky with Tackbit Solutions. Happy Wednesday. I made $609 profit on DGAS and on UGAS, I made $554. Uh, what I quickly want to ask you is I've been getting great feedback on the past two videos where I don't just recap my overall day, but I also show my entries and my exits. So if you're someone that's been enjoying these videos so much more and you find them so much more helpful, I really hope that you can just comment down below and, and make sure you drop a thumbs up as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Just so you guys all know, I'm still trading with the same dollar amount, uh, which my overall account size is $50,000. Uh, but like you guys can see, a majority of my positions are much smaller than $50,000. So today I made $609 profit and I wanted to talk about my entries, my exits. Uh, I made a couple mistakes uh, during, you know, the the morning live trading session, but I quickly recovered as DGAS began to make a recovery. And one of the things that I want to highlight is that natural gas was almost, you know, market opens here at 6.30 a.m. in Arizona. Natural gas sold off and then began to show like bullish tendencies. It, it was, you know, approaching 1.72 based off of, you know, previous patterns. Uh, it was doing a really good job holding up and trading in between the middle VWAP and the top VWAP and as well as the SMA line. This was very exciting because there is no question that for the past couple of days, natural gas has been super, super bearish. It's been a descending pattern and today was one of the first days in the past three days that it began to trade above the EMA line, but that was quickly short-lived and this is what we talked about within the learn plan profit group is that it's great that it's trying to show signs of an uptrend pattern but because natural gas is so bearish it has so much to prove so calling it um, an early reversal is probably not going to be in my best interest so quickly began to really focus on degas once i saw that natural gas broke below the middle VWAP and then once DGAS began to make higher highs. I didn't go very crazy, uh, but as you guys can see at one time, I then bought 100 shares of DGAS, which then I later sold. I bought an additional 50, then sold the entire 50 right on over here. So this was a total of $609 profit. And one of the things that we began to see, as you guys can see from my entries, my exits, my entries, my exits, my entries, and my exits, is the overall idea of this like upward staircase pattern. This was much easier to do, right? As something doesn't just shoot up, right? Not always. This was showing signs of an upward staircase pattern, which made it very easy for me to identify the good buy points, the good sell points, buy, sell, buy, sell, and buy and sell. Um, altogether, very happy with how my DGAS trades played out. But also, let's not forget about you guys. I did see some potential, and within the Learn Plan Profit live trading session, I locked in some of my profits. I made a total of $554 profit within this, uh, but this is a majority uh, of where the action happened. You guys can see that I had a couple buys here. I sold, I bought, I sold the highs, I bought, and then I ended up selling. Uh, what ended up happening is again, I bought the dip, sold the highs. One of the things that I wanted to highlight throughout this entire video is being able to pick up on patterns quickly. One of the things that I noticed, and you can see this a little bit clear, uh, a little bit more clear when I removed the buy and sell orders, is the overall idea of you know, you guys just today alone was not doing a very good job holding above ten dollars. Uh, and every time that it approached you know nine eighty to nine eighty five, it did a pretty decent job finding a support level around that general area. So being able to identify intraday support ranges and intraday resistance ranges that can assist you when being being able to better determine where to buy and where to sell. It's not that it's always going to be perfect. You know, like we said before, every trade comes at its own form of risk, but I, I'm very, very content with how today played out. I really focused on two things. I was very careful with my position size, right? I wasn't in very aggressive in any of my trades, which really allowed me to focus on the opportunity and not so much obsess about the overall, you know, dollar amount that I have at risk. And at least that plays a big role for myself. I'm not too sure for you guys. And and the last thing is, and this is the whole reason that I'm making this video, is the reason that I made a little bit over a thousand one hundred dollars profit today in the stock market is because I sell early. And it's the same that I picked up from one of our Learn Plan Profit members. And it's the overall idea of I make money in the stock market by selling early. And you might be like, well, Ricky, why would you want to say that? Again, the whole idea, the whole purpose that you and I wake up in the morning as day traders is to make money, to work towards making money in the stock market. I don't wake up in the morning saying that like, hey, I wanna be greedy, right? I wanna to try to maximize every single trade. Of course, if I was given the option of like knowing exactly where the resistance level is, knowing exactly where the support level is, of course, I would wanna maximize every trade. One of the things that we have to get through our head is we never know the exact bottom or the exact top of any trade. So having that mindset or that mentality that 
hey, I'm just gonna let it run and I don't know where I'm gonna sell. It's just, I think very closed minded and more often than not will lead you to lose money than instead of making money. So I, I do have to admit, I am someone that sells a little early from time to time when it comes down to trading, but I'm also someone that is consistently profitable as a day trader in the stock market. And you can ask yourself two questions. Do you want to be someone that is consistently profitable in the stock market? Yeah, you might sell early a couple times. Or would you rather be someone that focuses on trying to maximize every trade, it doesn't continue to go up, it pulls back, and then you end up going from green to red, right? We don't wake up in the mornings in effort to try to be greedy. We wake up every morning in effort to work towards a goal. And this is what I want to leave you with is, how many of you, right? Today I hit a little bit over $1,000. But let's say maybe for those that are trading with a little bit less money, when you're working towards, I want to make $100 a day, right? Who has that mindset right now? I want to make $100 a day. How many of you have ever been in a position? Let me know in the comment section. I'm not calling any of you out. In the comment section or drop a thumbs up. If you've ever been at like $80 or $90 and you're working towards $100 and you take another position not because of the opportunity, not because it makes sense, but because you're obsessing about the idea of trying to make $100 and make another $10 or $20 on the day. And then what happens? Instead of you going from $80 to $100 like you initially planned or wanted to, because your focus was not on the opportunity and it was focused and obsessing about the idea of trying to hit this irrelevant milestone, you end up giving back money instead of making it because all you're focused on right when you're trying to take that trade when you're up eighty dollars and you're trying to hit a hundred dollars all you're focused on is i just need 20 more dollars just 20 more dude 20 dollars in five years is not gonna matter so do something today that your future self will thank you for why are you taking a trade think about this why are you taking a trade that literally is of hundreds if not of thousands of dollars to make $20 so you can satisfy this irrelevant daily goal that you set for yourself. Again, a goal is something to work towards, not something that you necessarily have to hit every single day. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. I'm not even saying that like, hey, you know, if you do take that trade from $80 and it does go to $100 and you end up walking away with $100 profit on the day, still think about that. You just took a trade to make $20 and you put in hundreds if not thousands of dollars to make those $20. Ask yourself this one question. Do you think that action and that mindset is going to be a long-term benefit five or 10 years from now if you're day trading every single day? No, I, I can answer that for you. No, it's not. Because every single time that you take a trade, if all you're obsessing about is making money, you're not focused on the opportunity and you're not focused on the risk to reward ratio or the risk management portion. So big picture, as you begin to scale and trade with more money, with that same mindset, you're going to put yourself more at risk. Think about it. Every single time that you take a trade, you need to take into consideration the risk involved behind that trade. Because I don't care if it's a day trade, an investment, a long-term investment, every form of trade or investment opportunity comes at some form of risk. And this should all be premeditated and planned before you take it. So if I take a trade and I'm like, hey, I'm buying here because it's at a support level, I'll add more over here. But if it breaks below it, I'll end up cutting losses. There's a plan. There's some form of structure involved. Always, every single time that you take a trade, even if you're working towards a goal, there's nothing wrong with that. The idea that I'm trying to share with you is how dangerous it can be when you're only focused on one side and that's making money. Every time that you take a trade, it comes at some form of risk. Do your future self a favor and make sure the next trade that you take moving forward, you always have some form of risk management in place. That's what I want to leave you guys with. So I really hope that that's something that you guys can appreciate. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Again, close the day a little bit over $1,100 all positions closed and I'm excited to see what tomorrow has to offer. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have a little bit over 800,000 subscribers. We're the largest day trading channel on YouTube in the world and make sure you turn on your post notifications when you subscribe. On top of that, we do run the largest Facebook group in the world for those who day trade in the stock market with over 280,000 members. And if you want to stay connected and join our free Discord group, All you have to do is click the first link down below. If you guys want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about the Learn Plant Profit Group and see if you find it to be a good fit for you. I really do appreciate you guys' time. Wish you guys an amazing and blessed rest of your day. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.